brought there to the stage our own weapon of mass communication, Jimmy <laughs> Finley. It's good to be out of prison. <laughs> PMS makes me cranky. The rest of the alphabet is pretty annoying, too. <laughs> Especially IOU and DUI. <laughs> I hate going to the zoo and seeing the animals in cages. Their cages are so much roomier than my cubicle at work. <laughs> Does anyone here go to a health spa? I don't have time or money to go to a health spa, so what I do is I go to a mini day spa. I go to Walgreens to get my prescription filled. <laughs> then I grab a magazine, an herbal iced tea, and sit in their dental massage chair. <laughs> when my prescription is ready, four hours later, <laughs> I've got a mini day spa. <laughs> Isn't it embarrassing, though, buying personal products? Don't you feel like you need to explain to the pharmacist why you're buying them? I do. So I say to the pharmacist that the KY jelly is to lubricate my sewing machine. No. The hemorrhoid cream is for my gerbil. No, not because of my gerbil. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I guess you can tell my parents found it difficult to talk to me about sex. They just moaned a lot. <laughs> it's sad, though, when relatives get older. You know what I mean? Like, I'm at the nursing home, and my grandpa asks me, whose hand am I holding? And I say, that's grandma's hand. And he goes, damn, I thought I was having an affair. <laughs> Grandpa loves the happy hours at the nursing home, but he hates the two-drink minimum for men of usual. <laughs> when Grandpa got out of the hospital, he was still able to do yard work in a motorized wheelchair. One day, by mistake, though, he shredded his colostomy bag with his weed whacker. <laughs> On a positive note, he didn't have to put down any extra fertilizer that day. <laughs> it's sad when a loved one passes away, though. Like, what do you say when your best friend's mother departs? Oh, is there going to be an estate sale? <laughs> Dating is awkward, isn't it? Even when you're single? <laughs> Guys will take anything you do as a message that you want to go to bed with them. Like if you ask them to hold your rosary beads while you adjust your habits. <laughs> since, since I don't have anything nice to say about my exes, I say a lot. <laughs> my ex Fabio was so conceited. His wife not only told him the time, it told him he was a stud muffin who should be starring in margarine commercials. <laughs> Then I had this other ex, Kaz did no foreplay. He was so selfish. After sex, I'd ask, was it as good for you as it was bad for me? <laughs> but he'd already be pulling out of the driveway. <laughs> so, I have to be fair, though. My ex, Dan, gave me lots of attention. Dan would sit and listen to me for hours. Then I'd untie him. <laughs> Now that I'm married to a nice guy, and after so many dating nightmares, my dating motto is, if God gives you lemons, say you're busy Saturday night. <laughs> so now that I'm married, I have, to ask, I have to explain to people why I don't have any kids. So I try to think of some good excuses, like I entered menopause in high school. So I was the only girl in high school who got, a, who got excused from gym class for having hot flashes. <laughs> Actually, we did try to raise houseplants for, to prepare for having kids, but they kept dying. We suspect they were trying to take their own lives, especially since we took away their Ridland and their Sony PlayStation. Thanks. I'm